Hello YouTube, welcome to the dojo, you're here with Samurai Man, and today we have the Transformers Generations Voyager Class Road Buster. And he is really cool. He is just all kinds of fantastic, on top of awesome, on top of glorious. It's just a really great figure, it really is. Look at these giant wheels, those treads and everything. Painted, might I add, at the rims, they are painted green to fit the rest of the look. This is a very much roadbuster esque style car and color scheme. I do like it. They did match everything up perfectly. Got that green, brown, and orange. Kind of like it's... I want to say they're kind of camoing. Like it's got camouflage style on top of just, you know, good colors. Because, you know, he is a wrecker. So he is meant to go out and battle. He is meant for battle. So it's good that he's an armored up vehicle. Not too sure on what kind of armor vehicle, some sort of Jeep Hummer hybrid machine. I don't know. I don't think he ever had an Earth All mode. You know, he's one of those guys who never really had an Earth All mode, so they can kind of be free about how they want him to look. So, that's fine. But very well done, you can see. Nice clear windows. Decent amount of molding. Got some rivets going around them. Like, it's a really beefed up machine. I like it. He's got this wench here. I like this. We got some riveting panels here. And then the wench that like, leads here. So I do like that. This side is smooth. So nice. Again, asymmetry. Very nice. You can see this is the configuration that I have it in. This is the instructions with all the weapons the way they are. You don't have to have these weapons in these locations. They are all completely detachable. I was just setting it up so you saw how it was in the instructions. But yes, if you want to have them in some sort of different configuration, you know, go for it. Go nuts. It's not like, you know... Hasbro's gonna jump out of the bushes or something like that doesn't go there. It doesn't say that in the instructions. What are you doing? No, no, you have fun. You have fun with your toys. But there he looks without the weapons. Still looks cool. You know, obviously he's meant to have all those weapons attached, but this isn't bad either. I think having this makes me not need the Fans Project one. This was definitely a very nicely done vehicle and robot. So yes, there. I mean, I just can't stop talking about it. D up here, he's got some more of these piston looking things, some vents on the side, just to break it up a little bit more. But overall, aesthetically, they did a great job. The back here is a little hollow, not bad. It's kind of like it's raised, maybe. Maybe it's kind of like, it is raised, you can see it at the back, so it kind of fits the look. But it's definitely not bad. Come around to the bottom, and there's his face. You can already see it. You can see his fist here, too. But when you look forward, you really, and the top, you don't see the fist at all, which I like. Oops, I just popped it off, so now you can see it. But yeah, other than that, yeah, you can't really see the fist. There's a combined weapon mode for vehicle mode. I don't know it, so maybe I'll just start putting things on top of things. Just to show it off what they can do. If I can find peg holes. Start with this. Ooh, I already launched something off. It's, it's gone. I don't know. I'm just making a thing now. It's nothing in particular. It's just pieces on pieces. Plastic on top of plastic is pretty much what I'm doing. Let me see. We'll go and give him a scope right here. Because why the heck not? I mean, shoot. I'm just going to make it really long. If I can. Nah, I can't add anything else there. I'll make it long and kind of whitish. Maybe I can put one in here. There we go. So I've got this beefcake right here. Um, here we go, here we go, here we go. I'll put it like this. So again, unofficial configuration. Just something you can whip up just by putting things on top of things. And that's not too shabby. That just looks like it's sandy. Did I hit him? It's kind of like what I feel like would go on there. But yes, a nice array of weapons. We'll go, over the, go ahead and individually go over these weapons just because they're so nicely done. Here we got the only weapon with a projectile. Just push the button in the back and pew! Fire is very nice. This is actually a spring one. It's not friction. First spring we've gotten in a while. But it's also got this hinge here. So if you want, I don't know. I haven't really seen anyone do this. I kind of pose him like this a little bit. But if you want, and there goes that missile. You can bend the hinge. And, well, now you can't tell, but let me go get the missile. So, as I was saying, if you want, you can have them kind of hold it like a sword. And that doesn't look too bad, I don't think. I mean, it's not a horrific sword. It's pretty cool. Maybe you have a grip here. Ah! Anyways, you have a grip here, and you're just like, whew, like a double, double-handed sword. That's not too bad. Oh, no wonder this whole chunk is connected. I didn't realize this was part of the shooting part also. I thought it was just this. But anyways, put that away. That's not touched anymore. Here, next weapon. 
Rocket pack, or never mind, I guess I'm taking this thing apart. Here we have a rifle, semi-automatic, automatic, not any type of automatic at all. I don't know. Whatever kind of rifle, not bad. Not a nicely done molded in detail, kind of hollow on that side, but this side looks great. If you want, what you can do is this sort of blaster thing. It looks a lot better as a scope, because it does have this hollow bit here, so what you can do, actually comes packaged like this, is, I didn't even know this was detachable until I saw the instructions, but you can have this on as a scope. It's a little off, but not bad. You make a sniper rifle. So nice, and I like the way they made that. So now this can peg in somewhere, or attach on the back, and that doesn't look too shabby. I do like that. If I can just get in the proper position. Nope, not there. I don't know, it's kind of leaning, but there I go. Not too bad. Not too bad. And then we have this kind of pistol-y looking thing, little blaster. I use this as a shoulder blast blaster because it just... It's not a, it's an alright pistol, but eh, I think as a shoulder cannon or sidearm, like literally arms on the, literally a blaster on the side of his arm, I think would be better. But it's just up to you if you want. You can again put this up here, and we've got a scope or a double blaster. I don't know, it's up to you, however you want to do it. Next up, another hinged weapon. You've got this, a little more intricate looking blaster. I do like this, I like the design and the shape and everything. Again, with a hinge, so, you know, can't really make this into a sword or anything, because nothing really attaches that way. But, again, it's got these kind of grooves and everything on the side and around it, so, again, if you want to have, well, actually, if you want to have it scoped, use the peg. There we go, kind of making it scoped, or another blaster on top. Same thing with the sides, you can do that, or if you want, put it on these. Really, it's all up to you, use your imagination, you can extend it, slides. So cool, not bad, not bad at all. And I think this is my favorite just because it's the most, probably the colored. But the missile pack. I do think this is a very nice little missile pack. Very cool. All these little missiles here. I like, the, again, the design. It kind of like slants over. I appreciate that. Green, brown, and silver all applied very nicely. So cool. This is probably my favorite of the weaponized accessories. So he's got one, two, three, four, five, six weapons. So he's basically Autobot Hound from like, Age of Extinction. Or World because he also had a ton of weapons. So I like what they're doing with the weapons. They're giving these guys... At least the Voyagers are getting a ton of weapons, so that's cool. I do like that. Moving them away. The transformation on this guy is actually a lot simpler than I had originally imagined just from pulling them out of the box. All I have to do is here is grip this. and Well, actually, we'll start the sides. Because you just want to untab the, the arms. They are tabbed in here. You can see this little brown tab goes in at the top. As well as at the back of the forearm, it tabs in here. So get that all separated. Bring around to the bottom. What you want to do is kind of... <clears throat> is extend these arms outward and then this brown bit here will go through a hole on the side there and come around if I can get it. There we go. It's a little tight but bring it around. You got this green hinge you can see on the inside that you want to bring around. And do it. Oh, there it is. There we go. So bring that around. Next what we'll do is we'll take this bit here and if I can get it if I can actually remember how it goes. And let's see. Rich. Does it just fold out? Because it's giving me some struggle room. Oh, I see. Okay. So what you want to do is get these tabs outward here. And let's do it on both sides. I would suggest doing it on both sides. That's just me, personally. Unfold the legs. And you can see these were the feet that went up here in the back. Very nice use of the feet. They don't just fold away or anything. They're actually a part of the vehicle mode. So I do appreciate that. You don't see that too often. But anyways... You can see these feet are very intricate looking. We've got some hinges and sliding joints and whatnot. And rotate the foot. So that way you have the heel at the back. And fold it forward on a nice, nicely done hinge. Or not hinge, a ratchet joint. Nicely done ratchet joint. Kind of just line up the feet as you want. I'll go over the articulation as to how to use them later. But for now we'll do that. This bit, originally the hood was arranged like this. What you want to do is just bring it around very simply. Tab it in. And just kind of orient the arms the way you want them. Oops, forgot to untab this arm. Do it. Where's it tabbed? Oh, there it is. Okay, so untab that arm. Rotate the hinge downward. Kind of, again, just get everything situated. You can hear all those ratchiness going on. And then lastly, we'll fold up these tires just to fill in the legs. They're a bit wide, as you can see. They do like to kind of get in the way, but not too bad. I mean, he's a big guy. A wide pose isn't going to look terrible on him, so... It's understanding. And here we have Roadbuster. And he is just magnificent. This is a beautiful robot mode. Perfect Roadbuster. This is the Roadbuster. 
Honestly, like those third party ones look great, but this Roadbuster is for for a Hasbro toy, this is the definitive Roadbuster. Like they did a great job. Uh, he is a tad interesting when it comes to his articulation, though. I will say that. So for his articulation, he does have ratchety joints uh, here at the top. You see, they come out nice and ratchety. Bringing them in is a little bit more of a challenge. They're tougher going inward than outward. Outward's very simple. Inward's a little force. Not horrendous. Just pointing that out, just to be careful, because this is kind of its own segment joint, so it will move. Just want to make sure you're not messing with it too much. Rotation at the bicep, if I can get it. It's very stiff. Yeah, he's got some really stiff joints. This rotation is incredibly stiff. I suggest grabbing it by the bicep and rotating it. Maybe I can loosen it. No, it doesn't look like I can loosen it, but yeah, just be careful with that. Bend at the bicep as well as the elbow, so that's cool. And I believe, nope, there isn't. I thought there was rotation at the elbow, but there isn't. But anyways, yes, double bend. Not bad, not bad. So that's good. No wrist, but at least he gets that double bend plus the bicep rotation. So not bad. Pretty well done. Head is very free. You can bring it up. You can kind of bring it down. Left-ish, kind of. He's got a pretty wide head with a small space. So, yeah. Be careful. Just a little bit of left and a little bit of right. I'd say call it a day on that. Don't go too crazy. Biceps do have a swivel. There is a mushroom peg in there. But unfortunately, these orange bits are molded like to the leg and they don't have any articulation so his thighs do not swivel they come upward but this bit gets in the way so good luck with that i mean you can bring him backward pretty well but you can't really bring it upward too much you can bring it outward again the the the, the chest gets in the way so you kind of need to untab it just to get him to move so that's a bit frustrating but not too bad I think he can still get some decent poses, just once you just need to untab it and then put it back in, I think it'll be alright. But not too bad, not too bad. Double bend at the knee, actually, which is pretty intense. You got a bend here, you can see, and then a bend here at the ratchiness up there, so that's pretty nice. Again, he's got some nice double joints, but they're just pretty stiff. He's just got a lot of stiff joints, which I don't know why. So just kind of find a good location for where you should have his legs lined up. Getting his legs to line up properly can be a bit challenging, especially with these tires getting in the way. But that's not to say he's got bad articulation or anything. It's just, you know, you gotta mess with it. You gotta really find that sweet spot, as I usually say. That sweet spot. That standing sweet spot. Now we get down to the ankles. His ankles can come down on a double hinge. We've got a hinge and a ratchety hinge here. So lots of movement with the foot. Some people like to do is take the foot and use that secondary uh, ratchet hinge to fold up the foot a little just because he does have some really long feet that are unnecessarily long or I guess it's necessary for vehicle mode but it doesn't work so well in robot mode so people will tend to fold them up including myself sometimes you know if I'm in that mood I might do it but he's got quite a bit of articulation there let's see if I got it lined up I think I got him lined up so yeah if that makes it look a little better a little less you know clownish a little more tough guy ish i don't know what you'd call it but not too bad it is hard to stand that way but you can get it as you can see i've got him standing not too bad Woo. just gotta mess with it that's the only reason i don't mind the clown feet too much because he does stand very well with them so you know you're not really gonna have to worry at all when he's got his feet like this they just look a bit awkward but you mean it's a trade-up you get better you get better uh, center of gravity and better balance so yeah of course, these colliding aren't helping, so you might want to rotate him just a tad outward. There we go. Now he can stand a little more properly if you have the wheels out more. So, that's how that works. Now, Roadbuster does come with a sticker sheet. I haven't applied them yet, but he has a ton of stickers here that will look nice once I apply them. The one thing, though, is they give you an Autobot logo and a Wrecker logo, which is amazing. I love that. That's awesome. I love the fact that they gave you both. The only thing is you have to choose which one you want to go on. There's only space for one on the chest. So... Yeah, <laughs> which, which, uh, I don't know. Yeah, I really want to put that Wrecker logo on, but you just can't go wrong with an Autobot logo, so I might have to go Autobot and save the Wrecker logo for later for something. I don't know. I'm sure there'll be something I can use a Wrecker logo. There always is, but yeah, that's nice though. Now here I have all his weapons, and there is a specific way to do them in the instructions, but for my own purposes, I'm going to go ahead and splam however I darn well please because I'm a rebel without a cause. So what I like to do is I like to take this cool hinge blaster and place it on his shoulder. Left or right, it's not very much important, but shoulder. 
This rocket launcher, I did originally have it on his shoulder, but I didn't even realize he had pegs here, or holes in here, so I'm going to go ahead and put it on the side. I think this will look better. It's really stiff, though, because these are circular pegs with, again, I believe, let's see, yes, hexagonal peg holes. I do wish the pegs were shorter just because look how it kind of sticks out a little bit too much for my taste. But still, not too bad. You can have it there. Good, good. I usually have them hold this one, so I'll leave that off the side. This one, I, I like to peg into the side here. I think it just looks better when there's a little... Actually, here. I think pegging it out. No, no, I guess not. Oh, no, no, this one. This one I like to peg into the side here just to beef it up a little. I like having one side really beefed up and then one side a little less. And then, you stuff's flying. You know what, actually, I changed my mind. I'm going to go ahead and place it here. There's actually a lot of spots. We have one here, if you want to put one in here. I'll go ahead and show off the peggles. So we got peggles on the sides here of the body. Sides of the shoulders. You boy. Sides of the shoulders. Tops of the shoulders. Hands, obviously. Feet. He's got them kind of here, like the knees. And here at the shins, so you've got options for both vehicle and robot mode. Plenty of options. I'm going to go ahead and leave this up here just because I think it looks a little better, actually. I, I did like on the side, but yeah, no, that's I'm liking that. I'm liking that a lot better. And then go ahead and take the sniper rifle. I like just, again, leaving it as a sniper rifle. I just think that looks a little better. So, sniper. Sniper, no sniping. It's cheating, you camping sniper. So there we go. And then take this weapon. And without launching it, putting it in his hand, and there we are! This bad boy is ready to fight the Decepticons. And again, if you want sword mode, not bad. Even if it is just like kind of clubbish, I think that's not bad. But gun is, he is a gun guy, so. Yes, arm to the teeth, we have Roadbuster, and he looks awesome. This is just beautiful. So here we have Roadbuster, and this close up of his face, and that is spot on Roadbuster. I'm liking it. I like the face mask. I love the orange bits at the top. I love that visor. That is like kind of Halo-esque visor. And it's working for me. The color scheme works. I do like the fact they painted the eyes because he does have some clear light piping in the back with painted green eyes. I could have done without that light piping bit and just made it a you know brown bit. I think that would have been fine. But I'm glad they decided to paint the eyes. I mean, some green light piping would have been cool, but I feel like he's kind of more of a toned down kind of guy. So having bright eyes wouldn't have maybe worked as well. So I can get on board with this. If I can zoom in properly. There we are. So yeah, I like it. Plus all those cannons and stuff just look awesome. Roadbuster obliterates. So here I have Roadbuster with Generations Voyager World, Generations Deluxe Class Sergeant Cup, and Reveal the Shield Deluxe Class Perceptor. Just a couple of my wreckers I have. You know, I've got Springer also. I've got the Ultra Magnus from Fans Project. I have the blah, 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 Twin Twist and Top Spin, but those are all third-party stuff, so I didn't want to include them. Well, I have a first-party Springer, but I didn't feel like bringing them out. But yes, here is a couple of records. So just, just so you can see that there are actually a good amount of them produced. So now that we have Roadbuster, there's a really good amount of Ant World. We have a lot of uh, records made, so if you want to make a record team for your shelf, you definitely got a lot. I'm trying to think of who else you can use. I mean, third party wise, we have Top Spin and Twin Twist. So if you want to get those, also they're not badly priced. They're about I think they're like 67 bucks for both, which is like 30 bucks each, which isn't bad for third party considering how well done they are and everything. So there's those. Also, I'm trying to think of who else. Wreckers Rule Impactor. There's a third party Impactor coming by I think Mastermind Creations, which I am definitely getting. So that'll be nice to have with the crew. I'm trying to think who else. Who else? He'll look nice with Springer. That's all I could think of at the moment. At least from the comics, I'm thinking. Well, either way, this is a good amount of records we got. Just for the ones I'm showing you, we've got four. Plus, there's plenty more. So, keep an eye out. I'm sure we'll get more. I mean, especially with Whirl and Robuster here now, I'm sure we'll get more records. I think records are... Going to be the new thing of the year, because we did have Dinobots, and now we got Wreckers. Cube. So to transform this guy back, we'll go ahead and start by unfolding out these giant old tires in the back. We'll fold back up the feet. So we'll bring them in, and I believe I do declare, if I am correct in saying, do we want them like this? Yes, we want them like that. So we want the feet outward, or inward, or some sort of word, word document, you know. 
pinch them together, get those bigs and lined up if you can. If I could figure out how. Oh, never mind, that's a tab. No wonder I'm trying to line up a tab with a peggle. No wonder it doesn't want to go. There we go. If I can get it for a check. There we go. Get that all lined up. Get these feet lined up. Want them nicely done. Okay. Get the arms. Get that arm in that tab. So you want to rotate it forward. That's why we got that double hinge there. Just to go. Bring it in. Tab it inward. Bring it forward. And tab it. Tabitha. Tabitha. There you are, Tabitha. Untab the chest. Oh, also I forgot. In the robot mode, very kind of important-ish, is what you, did you rotate this forward. And that actually does complete the chest look. There you go, so that's how the chest should have looked. One minor bit I missed. Could happen to anybody, but you know. So yeah, that does actually help fill out the chest a little better, because now his crotch plate doesn't look like it's so forward, because before it did. Now it doesn't. So anyways, untab it. Rotate these back outward. My bad. There we go. Bring it around. There we are. There we are. There we are. Bring it in. Bring this. How did I do it? Like this. Bring this forward. Leave it like that for now. And I'll get it all situated. There we go. Bring that inward. You didn't even so see. You want to have it in this configuration where you brought it inward like that. And then you have the hands here. You want to tab in to the top part of the chest. Or top part of the chest. Yeah, top part of the chest. Top part of the hood. So have that all there. That'll hide the arms and the fists and everything. There we are. Good on that. Good on your might. So it's something you've seen a million times with legs. You just want to fold them up, bring them downward. Again, some more of that beautiful molding you see in there. Just a lastly point out before I hide it. Bring this in. Very nice how the feet are engineered. They actually work into the yoke mode. And then make sure to tab in these little tabs here on the side. And as soon as I get it, we will be done. As long as I don't be stupid. Because right now I'm being kind of stupid. Am I getting it? Did I get it? Is it done? Are we done? There we are! So here we have Roadbuster back into his vehicle mode. And it's not that difficult to transform him, which I do like. I don't know why I pulled him out of the box and I was just thinking it was going to be a challenge. But it's not. It's really not that hard to transform, which I do like. It's not... It's a little... I don't want to say it's too simplified, but... It is very easy, but it can be satisfying at some points. But for the most part... It is pretty darn easy to transform him, which is not a bad thing, I guess. So overall, I do like it. I like the weapon set. I like the sticker set. I like the robot mode. I like the vehicle mode. There's really nothing to not like about it. The articulation can be a little better handled. It does seem to get a bit tight in some areas, especially with the thighs not moving at all, at least rotational-wise. But the, the shoulder joints can be a bit tight. But that's not necessarily a terrible thing. So overall, not a bad figure. I definitely think it's worth having in the set, especially if they make more wreckers, or with the ones you already have, the third party and Hasbro versions are all good. So it's a nice little wrecker team we're getting going. So anyways guys, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe to my channel at YouTube, as well as follow me on Tumblr at Mication, and Twitter at Mication, and Instagram at Mechas of Ironheart. See all my pictures, updates, who's making what, what's coming out, and you know, new with what's new with me. And I apologize if videos aren't coming out as much as they used to because I am in school now and I have a full-time job and full-time students. So it can be a little difficult to adding this in as well, but I'm gonna try to keep them all going. So guys, take it easy, have a great day, and until next time.